What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to Bad Gaming. As always, I'm Fevin HN. I see Machiavelli to Don, and I am back today with the stock full gameplay, ladies and gentlemen. If you guys remember, I played the demo a couple months back, link in the description type shit, and the full game is out, guys. So, my sub series, we're gonna be playing it from the beginning of the demo, so there's gonna be some crossover. If it was in the demo, I'm gonna just kind of reference it so that, you know, I'm not gonna lie to you and pretend like it's the first time I've seen some shit, yeah? So I hope you have your drinks and snacks. So without further ado, let's get right at it now. I had to break up with Liam and I hope he takes it well. All right, guys. So if you have not watched the demo, the demo started right here. So a lot of this, I'm already going to know what's going to happen. All right, let's go inside. We're not going to cap, y'all. We're not going to cap today. I'm not going to sit here and pretend like it's the first time I've heard or whatever type shit. You want to see my first reaction to shit? See, she got the, the Bee Gees, guys. We got to go feed her some food. I'm about to go in here and make this, uh, make this gruel for her sternum. So, if you don't know the story of Stalked, the story of Stalked is this, guys. I broke up with my ex-boyfriend. My character's name is Kate. And her ex-boyfriend's name is Liam. And Liam is obsessed with Kate and, and wants to make sure that Kate is his forevermore. Who be knocking on my door at this hour? All right, guys. You know we got food on the on the grill type shit. Let's go check the front door. Who's there? Hey, honey, can I come in? No, nigga, you cannot. Ugh, Liam, I told you it was over, so no, you can't come in. Come on, you can't just leave me like that. I love you more than anything. It's over, Liam. Just go home. <laughs> Open the door, Kate. No, I'm not opening the door. I don't love you anymore, Liam. You'll be mine again soon. Whatever, nigga. So he's gonna shut that, that extra door type shit. Sounds like he walked away, thank God. All right, guys, let's go check on our food. See, food should be ready now. Now, guys, look at this organic food we got on the, on the thing, yeah? Bitch, look like I got uh, some potatoes. That look like a potato. That, that could be meat or like spinach. Obviously, this is some like gravy. And then, um, that's all I can discern on this. Let's go ahead and turn the, the thing off and put the. Ew. This shit don't even sound delicious, bro. Eight food shit off the pan. Are you some kind of psycho? I mean, a bath to calm myself down a bit would be great right now. Was I supposed to plate it? When I went to grab the container, it, she just ate. Can I not put it on a plate, Dev? Is that, was that just kind of a cheeky achievement? I appreciate that. All right, let's go in here. Beautiful ass bathroom, as we talked about before. Now let's go take a dump, and then the window should break, yeah? Yep. What was that? As I said, guys, I played the demo. I don't want to sit here and lie. I never like doing that, and I hate, you know, content creators who do, who like, they play the demo all of a sudden, they want to pretend like they never seen none of this shit ever in life. That like, bro, stop. You seen this shit. I watched you play it. All right, let's check the rock. Give me another chance, please. I will treat you well and do anything you want. I promise. Just one chance is all I ask. It can't be too much, can it? XOXO Liam. No, 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 no. I got to leave before he does something worse. Guys, literal gentlemen. I don't give a damn how much you love your girl, bro. If you think throwing a rock from the street through on her balcony through this window... Or any window. It's gonna make her think, damn, I really should get that nigga a shot. You're goofy. I'm trying to tell you that now. This, just make sure that you stay broken up. That's all it does. Just like the glass, that's, this is the remnants of your relationship, my niggas. Stop doing it, bro. Let's go in here. <clears throat> Hi, Kate. Yep, let's dip. Yep. I forgot I shut that door. Didn't mean to. I respect that, though, Dev. He, co he consolidated that section in the demo. It was a lot more janky, but that was pretty cool. It's 933. She's calling grandpa. Gramps? Hello, grandpa. I need your help. Hey, Kate, what's going on? Liam broke into my apartment and chased me. I barely got away, and now I'm in my car with nowhere to go. Hope she locked the door, guys. That's horrible. Are you okay? Did he hurt you or something? No, I got away before you could do something, but I'm terrified he will find me. As she's parked in her car outside of her building, guys. Okay, I assume you're looking for a place to stay for a while. 
Nah, nigga, I'm just calling to let you know that I'm getting harassed. Yes, obviously, Grandpa. You can come live with me for as long as you need. However, I'm gonna be out of town on a business trip for one week. That's fine. It's still gonna be safer than staying here. Can I go there right now? Yes, I'll send you the address. The key to my house is in a flower pot. Also, remember to keep the doors locked and if you need to go outside, you can always check the peephole first. Okay, guys, keep that in mind. If we need to go outside, we can always check the peephole. Okay, thanks, Grandpa, you're a lifesaver. No problem, I hope all goes well and don't hesitate to call me again. Now. What's going on, nigga? Weird ass Liam, bro, just sitting there watching me on the fucking. Cause she didn't lock the door, guys. That shit was crazy to me. If you, why was your door unlocked, guys? You know you're getting chased by your ex boyfriend, so your thought was, I'm going to get in my actual car, have a whole conversation on the phone, and not lock my door. Escape Liam <laughs> for now. That was a close call. Thank God I made it out. Liam won't be able to find me anymore now. Are you sure? What if he was just what if he just hopped in his whip? I have finally broken free from that toxic relationship. I want to know what kind of piece of shit Liam was as a boyfriend, guys. Obviously, we get a we get a hint of it with how he took them breaking up, but all right, guys, we're cruising up to the the uh, the home. As you see, we're in some wooded ass area. His grandpa live out in the trap. We can't look around either. Okay, so see, she's doing that on her own. Oh no, did Liam manage to follow me here? The car turned off. I'm getting too paranoid now. Of course it's not him. Probably just a neighbor. All right, so she hopped out the whip after turning on the flashlight. And remember, uh, grandpa said the key's in a flower pot. So let's check the front door first. Cause there's a flower pot right here and there's a flower pot right here. See, look, right there, there's the key. I died. Can I, can I crouch? Can I, can I crouch? Y'all see the key right there, yeah? I just picked it up. Is it the front door key? Yes, sir. Wow, it's dark in here. Let's turn off some lights to find the bedroom. I wanna hit the bed ASAP. Okay, I hear that. Oh, I have this space, got it. All right, so we locked the front door and then we can click the peephole. Use the peephole for the first time. Better say feel sorry. Yeah, cause grandpa told me I could use the peephole. I'm not I'm not about to play no games, guys. Kate is not safe, bro. Kate is not safe here, bro. She's gotta spend a whole week without grandpa. And grandpa probably know everything in this bit. Nigga probably know the, the, all the secret hidey holes and shit in this building, bro. Let's 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 take some investigation time, yeah? So I can see look, we've been in this corner, right? It should be relatively quiet in here. That's one of these books. Like see this book right here? The history of art is the only thing that's colorful on this gimmick. Why is this? Why is this colored up, bro? Keep that in mind, guys. We need to find a history book is in here. All right, close that. See, cause all the bookshelves look the same. So that Mona Lisa history of art book is gonna be important at some point. Let's keep checking this bottom floor. Make sure I think this is a bathroom. Yeah? Yep, 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 yep. Bathroom. And then this should lead to like a, a back garage area. Oh, this is the back door, guys. All right, that's the back door. That's the back door. Shut it. Lock it up, lock it up, lock it up. All right, so if anything happens at the back door, guys, leave it locked. We can go out the front and take a left. We're not gonna get ourselves trapped like that. Shut the door. Leave the lights on. Grandpa paid the electric, pit, the electric bill, not us, bro. Grandpa, you be all right with us leaving all the lights on, yeah? See guys, he see he, he knows what type of time we on. Find the bedroom. Yeah, it's right here. And then we hit the lights. It so can I ask a question? There's a bedroom right here. Is there another bedroom? If I recall correctly, this is a study. See? Brighter days. Just turn on all the lights in the house. Thank you know, thank you, achievement type shit. Matter of fact, leave it on. Fuck his electric bill. Thanks, Grandpa, for letting me stay in your swaggy ass house while I turn on all the lights because I'm not trying to have no demon chase me in the night. Shut the door. Can we lock this? No, we can't. All right, let's go to bed, guys. Let's go ahead and get to the part. Let's get past the demo section so we can really get in this game, bro. All right, morning time. 3.55. She set to 3.55 in the afternoon? It was like 9 p.m. at night when I saw when we got here, bro. She slept fucking like 89 hours. Are you good? Is grandpa home already? 
Mm -mm. No, no. Peephole, yeah? I can check out this way, too, yeah? Let's check and see for another car out the... No, we can't. We can't even stand in that window like that. All right, guys. You know we got the peephole downstairs. Let's, uh, let's take advantage of that, yeah? As you know, all the doors are locked. We're not playing no games. Peephole that shit. Nope, that's just our car parked outside. Guys, I'm checking the door this way. I'm not gonna open this door up. What if there was a nigga standing on the opposite side of the, of the people type shit? Open this. Yo, yo! See? See, guys, this is how you do it. See, look, that's how you do it right there. Look, look, what the fuck is this? Dearest new resident of this mansion. I am the previous owner of this mansion and you are the person I have been looking for. I hope to see you stick around for a while. I'm sure we'll get along just fine. I will be watching. Watching me? That's just, that, this is strange to say the least. I need to get going to the store before it gets dark though. Let's be careful. Of course. All right, guys, we're at the convenience store. What's that, some kind of paper? Over here, guys. Why is she aggro onto this piece of paper right here? What was, why did she see it from, she saw that piece of paper from all the way over there and was like, let me go look. Oh, that's my face! Is this a missing person poster? Wow, it's creepy how similar she looks to me. Bitch, that is you. Ashley. Missing since August 15th, 2013. Please help us bring Ashley home. If you have any information, even the smallest detail, contact the police. Your sisters can make all the difference. This is horrible. I hope they found her. Her? Kate, that... Kate... That's you. It sounds like Mary Kate is actually Ashley. So we're gonna find out together, yeah? But my question is, if we're Ashley, then who the fuck is Kate? Did we get snatched up and then like get our brainwashed or some shit? Oh, hi there. I haven't seen you here before, are you new? There's a poster outside that looks just like me. Are you sure you haven't seen me? Yes, I just moved in. Where do you live? Don't worry about it. I don't feel comfortable telling you that. Are you alone? Um, I'm in a hurry. Sorry, I gotta go. Ladies, any guy who starts asking you questions like, where do you live? Do you live alone? Is anybody looking for you? Do you have relatives that actually care about your life? You need to avoid him. Anybody who asks you questions about, are people looking for you or do people know that you exist? Or probably ones that are trying to kill you. Bitch, don't buy that organic food. That shit look like ass, bro. Come on, let's go get some... Baby girl, you be brought up eating this little sandwich right here, right, bro? That's that sandwich, right? It's got... You know? In it. And then you can get some... Look, there's some milk on the shelf, bitch. Two types. 3.5% calcium and 3.5% and, 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 and calcium. And they're both one liter. They're just different colored milks. You out here trying to buy organic food, bro. It's not the play. Organic food looks... Organic food looks like organic food. See, you better off getting the chips. So can we carry a basket? No. All right, we're carrying everything by hand, guys. So she's gonna buy one fresh cola, one bag of chips, one can of organic food. Okay, now she won't go. Do I have a grocery list? Is there a particular cereal that you want? Because this is very clearly says fruit cereal. She Does she just... Bro, what's the difference? Oh, this is like, this is like a uh, raisin brand, and then this is like fruit, fruity, fruity pebbles slash like Apple Jacks. This is what this is. This is Apple Jacks. Yeah, that's Apple Jacks. Okay, cool, cool, cool. And then she wants some vino. Yeah, she needs some vino. The way her life has been going. Ain't you a brother of that nigga in there? Who pulled up? Guys, she this guy pulling up, yeah? As I got the vino, he pulled up. The other weird nigga hopped in that car. My car's right there. And then this is a, another nigga, guys. So we got to keep them all in mind, bro. Along with this weird guy with the terrible beard. H Hello, is that all? No. I just I just happened to come here to the cashier and I'm not done. Yes. All right, the total is 2250. Thank you. Thank you for shopping here. I could uh also I can tell that you're new to the area. How long are you staying for? Why do all these guys keep asking me why, why, how long am I gonna be here? How long have I been here? Do I live by myself? Don't answer this question. No problem, I'm not sure yet. Not too long, I would assume. All right, have a good day and here are your groceries. Thank you, you too. 
All right, we got the groceries. This guy never came out, and if I recall correctly, this is gonna end poorly for my spirit, yeah? Yeah, because then he runs up. You know, a young, beautiful lady like you shouldn't be out all alone like this. What do you want? I do have some wishes, but I best think they remain unspoken. Weird ass nigga. Be careful and don't let me catch you all alone again is a crazy sentence. <laughs> crazy sentence, bro. Listen, stranger, Um, I'm going to need you to raise up, raise out, and get the fuck on and get out of my face, bro. I don't need your warnings. Respect my space and stay away. All right, guys, we're back to the cribbo. Let's not forget the groceries in the car. That's fine. We got to go to the passenger. MBD. Yep. So the groceries in the fridge. Unlock the front door. Let's get inside. Shut the door. Lock the door. Good. Double check this door. Yep, it's locked. All right, guys, we're nearing the end of the demo. I can't wait. Refrigerator, yeah? Right here. Put all the food in. Boom. Put the flash out of the way. We don't need it right now. See? <clears throat> Bring the flashlight back out. We need it now. Welcome home. You look beautiful in the store today. Knocks it down to three people, guys. Only three people saw us at the store today. Can't wait to see you again. Getting closer. Okay. I'm soon there. Is he inside or outside? I mean, honestly... Wherever he is, just grab a knife and stab that nigga in his titty. But what if I'm already there? Bitch, if you don't... Grab the cross and get to swinging. The Lord will forgive you. Go to church on Sunday. Be his ass on a Saturday. Go to church on Sunday type shit. We just passed Easter. We know the Lord rose up type shit, bro. He, he'll forgive us. I'm here. Check the door. I'm not, like, no. Check the door. Look through the peephole. We're not dumb. Yeah? Keep hold that shit. No. Oh, you see the car? Hold on, guys. Look. Down the street. In the in the uh in the woods. That truck. It's the it's the weird nigga. It's the weird nigga who asked me if I was here alone, bro. That's his car. I'm not opening the front door, guys. We got the side door for a reason, bitch. Knock knock, nigga. Pull up on his ass this way though. Pull up on his shit the long way. Nah, this fuck nigga wanna be in my car. Nah, come out, get out the whip, bitch. You wanna fight me? Get out the fucking whip, nigga. Exactly, bro. Bro, imagine Kate talking head like that, bro. That shit would be crazy. I, I be down. Dearest new resident, resident. Congratulations on selling in. You may believe this mansion is your refuge, but every step reveals a deeper game. I am with you in every choice, every move. There's no escape from becoming mine. This is getting out of hand. I need to drive away and call the police before it's too late. They last. I'm already outside. Bye bye. Oh no, not now. Start, start. That nigga fucked my car up. Please start. Come on, why the now of all times? Excuse me. Hiccups, guys. Something's really wrong. I have to get inside and call the cops like right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we can't go back to the door we went at, we went out of. Yeah. How guys enlighten me? How's this going to end well for me? Press F to call the police. The number you have dialed is currently out of service. Type shit. Nine one one. What's your emergency? There's a guy outside my crib or inside my crib. I'm not hundred percent sure, and he's trying to kill me. Hi, I need help. I've been receiving threatening messages, letters, and texts. I'm really scared. I'm here to help you. Can you please provide your location? I'm at. It's urgent. I understand. I'm dispatching officers to your location right away. Can you please describe the nature of this, these threats? They've been watching me, following me. The messages are getting more intense. Please hurry. Stay on the line with me. Help us on the way. In the meantime, try to find a safe and secure location within your home. And make sure to lock your doors. Officers should be there soon. 
Yes, there are lots. Please hurry. Help us on the way. Stay strong. I'm here with you until the officers arrive. Someone just tried to open the door. Officers will be there any second now. Bitch, if you don't listen, we can have this conversation, yeah? I'm just going here while we have it. Type shit. Around the corner. You can talk like this. Yep. I mean, guys, doesn't this seem like a good location? Nigga gotta come around the front. See, look, that's the 5 0 right there. I'm not finna bust right here and knock on the door, guys. It appears that everything's under control now. Officers apprehended a man in a white van outside your residence. We're bringing him in for questioning. If something else happens, do not hesitate to call us. Take care. Are you sure, bitch? Guys, they apprehended a man in a white van. The white van's down there. I heard the cop cars. Thank you for your help. I'll be sure to reach out if something else happens. They apprehended a man in a white van, but like niggas didn't even stay. Whew, what a relief. I never thought I'd feel safe again, but maybe things can get back to normal now, Cap. It should be safe for now. Let's head to the basement outside and restore the power. No, no, no. Why didn't the cops come and knock on the front door to ensure that I was okay? Why did the 911 operator was just like, hey, yo, you cool? Bro, what if the 911 operator was in on this, bro? Like, Kate, you're not safe, bro. Guys, Kate is not safe, guys. Do not open. Obviously, somebody opened. Or maybe he just hit the button. I'm not 100%. The power should be back on now. I stick of sweat. Let's take a bath before I go to sleep. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lock the door, though. Lock that door. That door's locked. Guys, remember earlier they jiggled the door and they were like, make sure the doors are locked? What happens if I had left the door unlocked? Like, when y'all had just broken in type shit? I don't know. Not gonna worry about it right now. Let's go bathe, yeah? Because Kate obviously is feeling real stinky. She's been uh, running all day, getting terrorized by eight different men type shit. There's no curtain to this shower, by the way. It just looked like it was a bath. Like there was no shower whatsoever. Oh, no, bitch. Finally, a moment of peace is crazy. You have no peace in here. She has no peace in here, guys. But why would that stranger go so far from me? Whatever, it's over now is not... That's not true, Kate! We just started! No, y'all heard that, yeah? I'm so exhausted that I'm, that I'm hearing things now. Let's go to bed. No, nah, bro, there was a photo. Somebody took a photo. Did you hear it? I heard it. Look around, look around, look around. No, no, no. Guys, look around. Look around, yeah? If I was a nigga, weird nigga taking photos of a woman in a bathtub, where would I be? Where would I put my camera? Uh, either like up here or like right there. Maybe behind one of these towels type shit, bro. Kate, we are not safe, bro. And the fact that you thought you were safe is crazy. I don't know why I pulled the flashlight out. It's the only, it's the only like thing I have that question, if that sentence makes sense. I don't get, I don't have no baton. I don't have no gun. I don't have no stun gun. I don't have none of that shit. Lock the door, bitch. She ain't locked the door, guys. All right. Rest in peace, Kate. Night, night. What is that noise? Sounds like it's coming from the storage room. Why? I know what the storage room is, guys. It's the room that I hid in earlier. But like, all right. Uh, I am now no longer in the demo. As a heads up, we are. This is all new to all of us now. Yeah, let's lock in. So now we got weird noise coming from the storage room. Check that Anita Freda book type shit. Whatever the hell was on it. Uh, it was um, it was the Mona Lisa book. Go check the Mona Lisa book, bitch. <laughs> My God. 
Scream like a bitch just now. Good lord. Mm. We're here though. We're here though. I'm here for it now. First jump scare. We're in the game now. <clears throat> Why are you checking? What? Well, this is Liam. You don't know. Why are you calling him? He chased you out of your right. If Liam hadn't chased you out of your initial house, you would not be getting terrorized in this house. So why are you calling Liam to be like, hey, are you cool? Ladies, uh, I'm sorry, dog, but it, this, this is bad thinking. This is bad thinking. No. No, of course not. What am I thinking? Let's put my mind on something else. But first, let's make sure the house is empty. I still don't feel safe. Check the house. Thank you. I'm glad they gave us a... Dev, Dev, listen. Thank you for giving us a choice and not making us do dumb blonde shit. Because, like... Why the fuck would I call Liam? After that nigga is the reason I'm here now. Why? What happened to this chair? Grandpa, you know you got one of your chairs kind of clipping through your floor? So let's check the storage room. That's the only place I can think of that would have something. And I don't see the basement, but the, the basement seems to be wide open. Something looks off about that book. Thank you. Because if you pull it, it probably opens up a fucking wall behind this shit. I knew that. I knew that earlier. I knew that earlier. See? This bitch is... All right, look. Sudden disappearance. Ashley's whereabouts unknown. 27-year-old Ashley was reported missing on August 15, 2013 by her husband. Two days after she disappeared from their home. Last seen in their residence, Ashley's sudden absence raised, sudden, uh, raised suspicion, with her husband emerging as a prime person of interest in an ongoing investigation. While authorities continue to search for leads, they urge anyone with information to come forward and assist in the search for Ashley. In the house in which she was missing from is this house. So is Grandpa my actual kidnapper? Why did you force me to do this? I never wanted to harm you. Do you guys see that on the window? On the wall, rather? Hold up, guys. Look, honey, we made the news pretty cool, right? What? So she's missing on the 15th. This one's from the 17th. Let's check the dates. Okay, guys, the dates go up this way. So let's check. I can't replace you, Ashley. There's no one that is as special as you. That's the 18th. Why did you force me to do this? I never wanted to harm you. My fault? How is it my fault? How is it my fault? I didn't want it to end like this. You left me with no other options. What the fuck did I do? How am I going to live on without you? What is the point of all of this? I'm typing to a dead person. I would do anything to get you back. Am I dreaming? I swear that is you. She looks just like you. Have you come back to me 10 years later? Nigga. She's just as beautiful as you were. She has to become mine. She will. No matter what. I can't let her run away from me like you once did. Bro, what the fuck? All right, listen. Listen, yeah? Check this. That is a skull and a ring. And what is this? Why would you want to leave me? I've done nothing but be good to you. Whatever, it doesn't matter anymore. You're never leaving me again now. It's probably time I talk to Grandpa about what's going on in here. This is crazy. September 5th, guys. Because Grandpa set us up. Grandpa, are you there? Yes, has something happened? Nigga, what's wrong with your house? A lot has been happening. I've received creepy letters and been followed by somebody I don't think is Liam. I called the police and they arrested, arrested a suspicious individual looking around the house. But when I thought it was all over, I found a strange room hidden in your house that contained some psychotic things, to say the least. What? This is insane. Maybe the police arrested the guy leaving the letters in a hidden room. I've lived there for 10 years and I've never seen that. I'll be cutting this business, business trip short and coming home ASAP. I can't stand not being able to help you. I like to think they arrested him, but what if they didn't? What if he's still out there? What if they arrested somebody who got set up? It makes me so uneasy just thinking about it. What do you remember about the person you bought this place from? That could definitely be the case. I remember that his wife had recently gone missing without a trace. 
He was the target of the town for quite a while. Okay, so Grandpa bought the house from the old husband of Ashley, who has now met Kate and thinks Kate is the second coming of Ashley. But he still has access to the house because of this trap door that I'm standing right over top of. Okay. I think I get it. And his name... Are you serious? My phone ran out of battery. I didn't have time to bring my charger with me. She, there's no way for her to reach the outside world. She go, she can't drive a car, so she's gonna have to chop. And now we need to get that sad, busted ass flashlight from the basement, bro. Okay, you about to die. You about to die right now. Locked. You gonna die, Kate. Kate, you gonna die, bro. I'm sorry, bro. Can we shut this door back? Pull the, can we push the, I don't wanna, why would I leave this open? Ugh, all right. Well, I guess it really doesn't matter because if he was still coming through that uh, hole in the floor, he could just push the, against the thing and it opened up. It really doesn't matter. Guys, let's, let's, um, let's go get the flashlight for Kate because obviously, yeah? She's about to die. And um, it just is what it is. I can't do nothing about it, guys. Come on, Kate. Let's go downstairs, yeah? So let's go get this flashlight right here that I saw earlier. I was like, why is there a flashlight down here? I thought it. I was like, we have our phone. Why are we using our phone instead of this flashlight? Well, it's because they were waiting for us to, for our phone to die. Can we grab a, a stick like this right here? Kate, if you pick this up, I'm pretty sure you can swing it. Yeah, no, it's, it's pinned to the floor. Okay, is there like a axe down here? This firewood, like a baseball bat. Of... Guys, Kate needs something, bro. Kate needs some type of weapon, bro. Cause you you know she don't have the legs like that, guys. She's not gonna be able to chop. We gonna need what the fuck? Oh, that was a bird. It was a bird. It was a bird. It was a bird. I was like, what the fuck is that, bro? Especially because you knew it wasn't human. It just kind of swooped past the screen like. All right. Kate. What happened to the car? Did the, the police take the car too? Yeah, I mean, I guess they had to. No, they didn't because remember we saw the car earlier. So what happened to the car? Don't worry about it. Get, get, get in the house. I should search for what? Thank you. Thank you. Grandpa's office upstairs. All right, cool. Let's go get a, let's go get a weapon, guys. That's what I'm saying. Like, Kate, you ain't got no reach to the outside. You ain't had nothing, bro. Like, she gotta, she gotta find a weapon, bro. She can't live life like this. Is there a strap in here, bro? There's gotta be a blicky, bro. This nigga got potato chips in his desk, bro. Ain't nothing in the top drawer. Yeah, nigga, all, all that nigga do is got lays and shit in here, bro. Nothing of use in here. All right. Let's, let's think, guys. Let's think. Let's think. That has to be Grandpa, right? No! He just... You talked to him on the phone. He said, I got to cut my business trip short. I'm on my way ASAP. You talked to him like 20 minutes ago. No, it's not Grandpa. Check the door. I ain't checked the door from up here, nigga. Hold on. Hold on, guys. Guys, we, we got to play this smart. Because Kate, Kate, Kate... Kate played a dangerous game, guys. There's our car. I don't, I don't see a car up here, guys. As I'm checking out the windows, I don't see no vehicle that's not mine. All right, before we go downstairs, yeah? Let's check in here for a weapon. There's nothing on the shelves. We have to go to the kitchen, get a knife, guys. Go to the kitchen, get a knife. We locked that, yeah? Check the, check the people. The fuck? Hi, weird ass nigga. I knew it was him. Hi, sorry if I scared you. I just had to come clean about something. Of course you did. You're the creep that talked to me early outside the convenience store. What'd you want to come clean about? I know it's creepy, but it wasn't my idea. Liam told me to do it in hopes that you would take him back to feel safe again. I was supposed to take it a step further now, but I couldn't do it. I felt too sorry for you. It all makes a lot more sense now. Thank you for telling me. I still don't feel safe around you. Can you please now leave? Yes, of course. I'm sorry again. 
That's enough. That's enough when to, when to watch it. I like how Dev uses those old cutscenes to, uh, really, it's night already, to, to change the time frame. Go to bed. No! Get a knife! Why does she, why, is, why are you like, Kate, Kate, why are you acting dumb, bro? It's just, I said it in the demo, but low key, bro, I'm, I'm like, even in the full game, it's this dumb blonde simulator, bro, like, nigga not, not giving no fucks about her, her preservation at all, bro. Why would you go to bed without finding a weapon in the house, bro? How does it, how do you have a whole kitchen? No, no silverware. You ain't got no forks, no spoons, no knives, no pots, no pans. I go crazy with a spatula, bitch. You gotta give me something. She's out here playing this, this actual situation in her life. Like I'm playing her in the game, bro. Just, just like I ain't, well, I, it's not my life. I don't have to really worry about it. The problem is Kate, you do. It's your life. You out here not even trying to find nothing to protect yourself. Your front door don't, your, the bedroom door don't even lock. Did that come from the bedroom door? What are you? Kate! Get to the door. What's good, nigga? What's good, bro? The nigga really came by through the whole, through the, the, the special door, put a note on the floor. So I had to step out and get it. And it was just like, good night, bro. No, I don't need the note. I don't need the note tonight. Shut the, bro. Kate don't care, bro. Dad, this game is frustrating, bro. Kate not trying to live, bro. And I'm trying to make her live, bro. This shit frustrating. You thought this was over? You feel helpless now, don't you? Your car doesn't work, your phone is dead, and the police think they got the person behind this. And you don't know where I am. There's nothing that can stop me anymore. I knew that. What, what, what do I do? I, I know if I follow down the other path I saw when I first got here, maybe I can find some neighbors that can help me. I mean, at this point, fine. Fine, guys. All right. We got to go downstairs and chop down the street. Get down the stairs. Go out the side door. Not out the front door. The side door. Hit the side door. Gone. Gone. Bye bye. Gone. Gone. You have to. You got to chop, bitch. You got to chop. She's got to chop, guys. Somebody going to see us on this path? It's fine. We, be, we, been, we been been in the motherfucking corners type shit. So we're going to be all right. Bend them corners, yeah? Right here. This seems like a really bad idea, but okay. Fine, fine, fine. Whatever noise it is, what it is, guys. We can't do nothing about it. We ain't got no weapon. All we got is a flashlight. There's a car right here. There's a shed right here, too. This shed probably linked with this car. This is definitely Liam's car. So she found Liam's car? Am I still on the path? Or was the path ending here? Yeah. All right, guys. Here we go. You know this is what they wanted us to find, yeah? You and I both know this is what they wanted us to find. Let's go. So Kate is now went from I'm getting terrorized to now let me follow this old mine shaft, which probably comes up in the house. Blood. Oh, that's Liam's life, nigga. Oh, they actually clapped that nigga. Oh, shit. She is mine? Nigga cracked the door open, took a photo of me, and was like, and only mine. She, he don't really clap Liam up, bro. All right, Liam, sorry, dog. Bro, I've been shifting sprint. I've been hitting shift to sprint. I've been doing that. If you didn't know that that was, see, look, that's, that's our house. And this is where he buried his wife. Yeah, because the skull is in the house. I think these are Ashley's remains. Well, Ashley remains were right there. I, I was turning to leave. You get the gist of this, yeah? Okay. I think these are Ashley remains. What a sick and twisted individual her husband was. I don't even want to know what he would do to me. Bitch, you about to find out. You know that's your house, yeah? I guess we go back up the path. He cuts us off. We come back down. It's him. It's the cashier. 
here! Hey, I couldn't wait anymore. I need you now, my new Ashley. It's 180, yeah? So, it, it was you who was sending all the letters. I know it looks similar to your ex-wife, but it doesn't mean I can replace her. I don't care. How you look is more than enough. Come here. I've been waiting so long for this. 180 and then it's in and straight, yeah? No. N no. I have to run before it's too late. Yeah, bitch. Let's go. I said it was 180 and then we hopped the whole ass, yeah? Let's look back. Let's look back and see how fast he is. Oh, he's really fast. Yeah, he's really fast. Yep, 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 yeah, 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 yeah. I guess the police realized that they they found the wrong nigga. Cause I heard the 5 I heard the wee 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 in the background, bro. Yo yo! Flawless! Flawless! The police arrived on the scene just in time, thanks to Grandpa. He hurried back home after the abrupt ending to Kate's phone call with him. When he arrived home, he realized that Kate was nowhere to be seen. He got a sinking gut feeling that the worst might have happened. He called the police instantly, and they made it just in time. The relief Grandpa felt after hearing the news was like nothing else. What happened to everyone else involved? Well, Liam's dead. The man in the white van said his reasoning from being outside Kate's home was that he saw a stranger following her home from the store. Of course, the police didn't believe him when they saw no one else was there. So the guy in the white van was the stranger who asked, do I live alone? Am I by myself? And then he hopped in the van. He saw him. So that guy was who they arrested, who also looked like his brother, Loki. The cashier's brother, Loki. But when the news broke free about this, the police realized their mistake and that he had actually been telling the truth. He was released the same day. Liam's accomplice was never seen again after the incident. The psychopath that killed his ex-wife Ashley, Liam, and almost Kate ended up getting sentenced to life in prison. Kate is doing her best to recover from the incident, but it's difficult. At night, she often hears those daunting knocks on her bedroom door, disrupting her attempts to sleep. Throughout every day, she finds herself checking behind and scanning every corner, consumed by fear and paranoia. How else was she supposed to live life? The almost got chased down by a random nigga she had no clue about because he she looked like his ex-wife. So, yeah, like, of course she is. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that was the full game of Stalked. If you guys enjoyed Stalked, you already know what to do, Tate. It was, hey, damn, I like how you tied it all up in a nice little bow at the end, man. I appreciate that. It was one of them three people at the, at the shop. It just what happened. It was all three of them in some way, shape, or form. The accomplice, the guy who actually tried to save us, which is the weird nigga who asked us if we lived alone, and the seemingly nice cashier who said, oh, you look like you're not from here. He said you're not from here because you look like the ex-wife I just killed. MBD, Kate survived. We got a flawless performance. We never got caught. I think we did a great job today, ladies and gentlemen. If you guys enjoyed this video, you guys already know what to do. I will see you guys in the next gameplay. But until then, I thank y'all. I love y'all. And I'm going to see y'all when I see y'all. Peace.